Welcome to a how-to video on MyVault's Benefits Planning Path. In the Planning Paths area in your MyVault account, you'll find a Benefits Planning Path called What Happens to My Benefits When I Work? The purpose of this path is to help people with disabilities make informed choices about work through step-by-step -step activities. When you click this button, you'll see the activities in the path are organized in sections that you can open and close. You can complete these activities on your own or with the help of another person. You can stop and save your work at any point to come back and finish later. There are seven activities in this path. The first activity is Start a Benefits Plan. It has three quick questions to help you see where you are in the benefits planning process and recommends relevant articles, videos, and activities for you to try. After you finish each activity, you can view your results as a PDF or share your results with people you trust. The second activity is called Get a Benefits Lookup. This activity is a simple request form that provides a way for you to find out information about your current benefits, including which ones you get and the amounts of those benefits. Doing this activity sends a Request for a Benefits Lookup to the Minnesota Department of Human Services, also known as DHS. DHS looks up your records and sends the results back to your MyVault account within two days. The third activity is Do a Quick Budget. Using this activity, you can get a picture of your income and expenses and how your financial picture might change when you work or change your expenses. Doing this activity can help you set a goal for how much you need to work and earn. It's especially helpful if you're not sure about working or how much you should work or if you have financial concerns outside of benefits. The fourth activity is called Make a Work Plan. This is an easy tool to help you think about and set work goals by answering some simple questions and by starting a plan for a specific job. When you're done, check out the activity results. You can share them with others on your team, like case managers, guardians or parents, school transition staff, and employment service providers, so that they're all on the same page about your work goals. The fifth activity is See How Work and Benefits Work Together. This activity launches an estimator session directly from My Vault and pre-fills any information from the Get a Benefits Lookup and Make a Work Plan activities. The estimator is most effective when you have an idea of what you want to do for a job and know how much money you will or would like to make. The results of the estimator will help you see what would happen to your benefits if you worked and earned that amount. The sixth activity is called Manage Benefits. Here you can create a checklist of what you need to do each month to manage your benefits. You should first complete the benefits lookup, and then this activity will pull in your benefits information automatically. The final activity in the path is Build a Benefits Planning Team. This activity helps you organize your contacts and know who can help you with understanding your benefits when you work. You can look through the list and add people in your contacts like your counselor, claims representative, case manager, financial worker, and more. At the bottom of the page, you can see your results from each activity as separate PDFs, or you can download them all together as a combined benefits planning plan. Start exploring the benefits planning path what happens to my benefits when I work, to discover your options and how you can reach your goals for work and benefits. If you have questions or need support, contact an expert at the Hub. Hub experts are available at live chat, phone, or email. The phone number is 1-866-333-2466. At the Hub, we are here to help you plan your best life your way.